And boy, he deep. Way back, they look up. You can put it on the board. Yes! yes. Three-run bomb by Carlos Quinn. And the Sox lead it. Ten to eight. Carlos Quentin sparked a rally in the fifth by issuing a solo statement, and his encore performance punctuated a five-run eight. The all-star slugger rounded the bases for the second time and brought two of his teammates along for the ride. Quentin's power display drove in four runs, and Bobby Jenks worked the ninth for his 19th save. The White Sox shot the Rangers 10-8. In the Gateway City, the Brew Crew played long ball for the 19th straight game. J.J. Hardy belted a solo homer in the fifth, and Ryan Braun had four hits, including a big bang to lead off the ninth. CeCe Sabathia retired 17 consecutive batters before losing a no-hitter in the sixth. The left-hander scattered three hits and threw seven packages of heat in his third straight complete game. Milwaukee silenced St. Louis 3-0. At Kauffman Stadium, Miguel Cabrera drove in three runs with two singles, and Maglio Ordonez added three base hits, including a pair of RBI connections. Armando Galarraga retired his first 18 batters and collected a career-high 7 Ks en route to seven innings of one-run ball. He earned his first win in over a month as Detroit took out the brooms and cruised past Kansas City 7-1. At Great American Ballpark, Greg Maddox left in the sixth with a lead, and by the time he reached the clubhouse, his winless streak extended to 14 starts. Edwin Encarnacion greeted Clay Meredith with a go-ahead two-run blast, and Adam Dunn cleaned house in the seventh by issuing a grand statement. The Reds rallied past the Padres 9-5. In Tampa, the A's rubbed their bellies in the second, and the Rays returned the favor in the fifth. Johnny Gomes hammered a game-tying two-run shot, and Ben Sobris made it back-to-back -back jacks with the next pitch. James Shields struck out seven over eight-plus solid frames, and Troy Percival closed things out for his 20th save. Tampa Bay edged Oakland 4-3. The Yankees protected their home turf for the 10th straight game thanks to a stellar outing from the Moose. The right-hander fanned seven and walked none over eight scoreless innings and was backed by a pair of two-run doubles off the bats of Justin Christian and A-Rod. Mariano Rivera got Jason Kubel looking in the ninth to claim his 25th save as the Bombers swept up the Twins 5-1. At Coors Field, Matt Holliday was one of four Rockies to collect two hits, and both of his connections provided a lift home. His tie-breaking RBI double triggered a three-run third, and Colorado's bullpen hurled four scoreless frames, capped by Brian Fuentes' 17th save. The Rockies topped the Dodgers 5-3. In Anaheim, Jeff Mathis broke things open in the fifth by feasting on his first career grand salami and added a two-run double in the sixth to tally a career-high six ribbies. Mathis and Howie Kendrick each had four hits, and Casey Kochman connected safely a career-best five times. A-Rod recorded the final out for his 42nd save as Los Angeles outslugged Cleveland 14-11. At Minute Maid Park, Doug Mankiewicz went 4-4 four for four at the plate and came through with a tie-breaking RBI single in the seventh. Freddie Sanchez, Xavier Nady, and Adam LaRoche added two hits apiece, and Damaso Marte pitched a hitless ninth for his fifth save. The Pirates completed their first road sweep of the season by holding off the Astros 8-7. The Red Sox also solved their road woes thanks to the Mariners' fielding woes. Willie Bloomquist's error in the 12th loaded the bases for Mike Lowell, and he took advantage by ripping a two-run single. Boston's bullpen threw six-plus scoreless innings, and Craig Hansen escaped the bases-loaded jam to grab his second save. The Red Sox doubled up the M's 6-3 in extras. At Shea, Jose Reyes launched a tie-breaking three-run drive in the sixth to help John Main pick up his first win in nearly a month. Scott Schoenwise and Joe Smith tossed a scoreless eighth, and Billy Wagner pitched a 1-2-3 ninth for his 25th save. New York bounced back and downed Philly 6-3. In Miami, Tim Hudson scattered three hits and posted six rows of zeros before leaving with tightness in his right elbow. Gregor Blanco and Yunel Escobar handed him a W by combining for six hits and six RBIs. The Braves cooked the fish 9-4. At Chase Field, Alfonso Soriano returned from the DL and drove home the go-ahead run in the fifth with an infield grounder. Reed Johnson had three hits, including a fan-assisted grand slam that punctuated a six-run eight. He fell a triple short of the cycle and helped Ted Lilly earn his tenth win. The D-backs fell to the Cubs 10-6. In the Bay Area, Rich Arulia lined a go-ahead two-run double in the eighth, and Omar Vizquel tacked on insurance with an RBI double for one of his three hits. 
Ryan Wilson survived a shaky ninth for his 27th save as San Francisco downed Washington 6-4. At Camden Yards, Lyle Overbay untied a single nine in the six with an RBI connection up the middle, and then the heavens opened. The game was suspended by rain and will resume Thursday afternoon with the Blue Jays leading the Orioles 2-1. I'm Lance Meadow for MLB.com, where baseball is always on.